All right, we're in the, in the lab. Let's use the handgun for a bit. It doesn't really matter if we, like... Oh! <laughs> Incinerate them or not, or not, it's gonna... But, I mean, might as well. Let's, let's, uh, let's use all the kerosene in the game. I got both of them?
No, it didn't. Oh well. Researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I'm pregnant. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have, beco have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. What, this whole accident? If every everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture. A row I know you and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. This is just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John. Ada. So this one says Alex Beckett. And this one says Ed Fisher. So we put... Clark Davis. And then Gail Holland. So they're all in alphabetical order. There's something scrawled on the notepad to use the electronic device. Place the initials in alphabetical order. And well, it's going to be uh, colon, esophagus, lungs, and liver, or large intestine. I don't know. But regardless, it spells out cell, colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. And this, this is where Chris is locked up. If you don't care about the ending, you don't have to um, unlock these. But you need three MO discs and one you should have gotten in the mansion if you didn't get it. Maybe you could go back? I'm not sure. Um. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Ooh. You think so? A row of LCD monitors. They must once have been used to display something. And like... If there's one flaw that this game has, it's that 
examining stuff never tells you anything. Like, usually examining stuff tells you something about the character or the environment. But with Jill and Chris, it's just like, wow, these LCD monitors must have been used to display something. Or this bookcase is concerned with literature. Like, no shit. The Act Researcher's Note There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the bas bas basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since the, this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. The dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Oh, okay. Like, in a creepy coffin and everything. That seems like a good idea. Uh, the username is John. And password is Ada. And the, the uh, keyboard is, of course, in alphabetical order. Uh, a a three-letter password. That was uh, 1996 for you. And then it's, uh, of course, cell. It's just reading stuff about herbs. The cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags. See Nike. So no head. An X-ray photograph. The skeleton structure displayed isn't quite human. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. It looks like a refueling device. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you can transmit the passcode to the system. Well, luckily, I do have an MO disk. Oh, I did put my lighter away. I'm gonna have to go up there anyway. Okay, so we got one out of three... Locks disabled. Facts. To Sanitation Division, a Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named address addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant incre significant increase in the damage done by the recent T virus outbreak that initially estimate that initially estimated there are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. 
Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come excuse me, from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Film has been set into place. View it. Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Tyrant. Konami staff. Wait, Konami didn't make this game. Bio organ <laughs> Konami staff. Bio organic weapons research group development staff. A three four one seven zero six two three. But that's not the actual number. Eight four six two. Security. Protocols Level 1 Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement Level 1 Passage to Heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be short on site. Elevator The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement Level 2 Visual Data Room for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the Visual Data Room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Basement level 3. Prison Sanitation Division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, <gasps> must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located terminals in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock power room in this room nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power access is limited to headquarters supervisors this restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization passcode output terminals use and the and access of the output terminals is limited to the authorized senior researchers basement level four regarding the progress of tyrant after the administration of t-virus illegible hereafter Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Countess film. Wow, that was so worth waiting the entire game. Um, because you know it tells me so much stuff that I didn't already know, like. What happened to Kenneth? Oh, wait, I already knew that.
Not here. Okay. You know, let's just uh, start from the beginning. I think I actually want to... I want to bring the Magnum for this next part, because I think these things die with, like, one shot to the Magnum, maybe? So I would rather use it on them than a boss. Ammo disc and also the grenade launcher. Let's take our two ammo discs. Too grimy to read.
operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Um, what if the surgeon was, like, really bad at it? Like, I feel like if I tried to do surgery, this is what it would end up like. Oh, I fucked up. No, don't worry, I can fix this. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm squeamish. Uh I am very squeamish when it comes to, like, the intricateness? I don't know how to describe it. The the specifics of body parts. Like, I can't even look at my own wrists because I can see the veins and that freaks me out so much. Um, or, like, nerves and especially eye stuff. I cannot stand eye stuff. But, like, just regular blood and gore doesn't really get to me. So that, that lead, leads me to the same place. Um... We want to make sure we kill all these things, and you'll find out in a minute. Like, no exceptions. Kill them all. Kill them all before you move on or do anything special. They're on the ceiling. Come on, what, what do I gotta do to make you come down? Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Take the empty capsule. Oops. 
And all of those are unlocked. So as long as we don't forget him, we'll save Chris. And I think that's all of them. Jill? Chris! You're alive! Of course I'm alive. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh. It won't open! Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. No sightseeing, though. Insert some sort of joke about how, why can't Chris punch down the door if he can punch a boulder, blah blah blah. It's locked. We're going to want to save before this next part.
Um, which door was it? No, oh, damn it. Can't believe I already forgot. Oh, it's here. Set the capsule into place. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. If you want to be really safe, you can go back to the settings and you can uh, switch the controls back to uh, original. So it's tank controls, but uh, you have to press down a button to run. While here it's like I'm slightly uh, pressing my joystick. But I don't know. Maybe my finger could slip and I could accidentally run. And it's not like instant death if you run. It's like if you run for like two seconds, and it, it varies depending on what difficulty you're on. Um. But I think we'll be fine. And that's the reason I got rid of all the chimeras. I think that's what they're called. Um. So that I wouldn't, um. Wouldn't get grabbed by them. Cause if, you, if you get grabbed... Uh, by an enemy or if you fire your gun and it, vary it varies depending on like what kind of gun it is like there are all these calculations you need like a fucking excel spreadsheet to understand the likelihood of all that um but yeah that's why I got rid of them beforehand There we go. A lab self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. There's no power. Start it up. The elevator is working. Jill. Barry. You could have at least waited up for me, you know? Let's go. I'm glad we're friends again. All is forgiven. No questions asked. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. 
You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! <sighs> Umbrella? Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. I love you, Barry. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! Damn it! <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. Sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N. You want a piece of me? What? Premature. No, Barry! You viral cultured freak. I forgot to bring healing items. Shit. Fine, never mind. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill, sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. Wesker must have sent it off. Let's hurry.
Wait! No, we can't make a three. I'm gonna eat it anyway. Um... This looks good. And, uh, take. And, and you need one, one extra space. sure you go back uh, for Chris unless you want him to just die which I guess is fine but you get a better ending the lock is released Jill sorry about the wait so everything's taken care of well, almost. Now let's get the hell out of here. I like how he was just sitting there. Like, do you not hear the, the blaring alarm about how the whole place is gonna self-destruct? And how all the locks are released so you can get out? Come on, come on, hurry! I don't need whatever that is. Flying around in circles for like the past five hours. What a dumbass. with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. He was so convincing. Oh, look! 
a signal rocket. That's great. It's so convenient. Dodged out of the way. Oh my gosh, I did it again? Jill, use it! Kill it, whatever it is! Ah, 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 ah! Ooh, ah! You have four in case you miss! That is such a weird ending, but I mean it fits because it's true to the original game, which um Oh wow. Even the even the credits FMV looks like garbage. I mean for the most part, like I really like the remaster, and there is a um like an upscale project that I tried, but it was causing lag for me, and I don't think it would be that noticeable. Uh, when it's actually uploaded to YouTube, because YouTube fucks the quality of all my videos. Um, but I don't think it has too much effect on the FMVs. It, it might, a little bit, but... I don't know. Well, we're not done yet. We still have uh, Chris's scenario. So, we are going to do that. And unfortunately, it's not different in the sense that, like, if you play Claire A and then Leon B, their scenarios are different. Uh, it's basically like... You play Claire A, and then you play Leon A. So it's basically the same thing with uh, a few minor differences. Um, our companion is uh, Rebecca instead of uh, Barry, for example. And I like playing as Jill more, but I mean, I, I, li I love this game. I could go through it again. Um, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to play through it again uh, as Chris. I don't know how long these credits are. Oh, it's going to the special thanks. Alright, so uh, I will end this video here and we will pick up uh, with uh, Chris's scenario. Oh, sorry, we accidentally, uh, got mud all over our FMVs, and that's why it looks like shit. Jill, 
You did a fine job. Uh, Wesker? Now play with features from the prototype version real survivor mode and item boxes are no longer connected. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're not gonna do that. 